Hi everyone, this is Anson from AnsonAlex.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to create folders for your apps on your iPhone 5 or really any iPhone or any device running iOS. It's a really useful feature, it helps you avoid having those six or seven home screens that you have to cycle through every time and it really saves a lot of time while you're using your iPhone. So I hope it helps and enjoy. Okay, so here I am on my iPhone, and you can see that I have a bunch of apps that are already in folders. So you can see I've named my folders kind of whatever I want. But I've also got some apps up here at the top that have not yet been put into folders. So I'm going to show you how you can do it. And that's really simple. If you know how to move an app, all you have to do is click and hold on any app, and they'll all start wiggling around, jumping around. This is how you can delete an app. I could hit the X to actually delete the Weather Channel app. And I can move by clicking and holding, I can move folders around to different locations. And when I drop them, they go where I want them. However, to create a folder, all you have to do is take one app that is not in a folder and drop it on another app, not in a folder. So if I take this Google Maps app and I click and hold it to drag it around and drop it on the Weather Channel app, you'll see before I even drop it, it creates the folder for me. So I can just drop it anywhere. Whoops, I guess I waited a little bit too long there. So if I click and drop it on, you see it goes into the folder, and then I can go ahead and I can name this folder whatever I want. I could say travel. Anything you want. Um, and then go ahead and hit done. And then to stop these from wiggling, I have to hit the home button down here on the bottom of my screen. So when I hit the home button, it's going to stop them from wiggling. And I have my newly created travel folder here. And I could go ahead and I could click to make apps wiggle again and I could drop them in my travel folder. So it's really simple. Um, it definitely helps clean up your device. You'll notice that I've only got two screens here. I don't have a third screen. And even on my second screen, these are things that I rarely use. So um, it definitely helps. And I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, I would really appreciate a thumbs up. There's my thumb, thumbs up here on YouTube. And if you want to see more technology tips and tutorials, go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel. That's all I have for you today. It's Anson from AnsonAlex.com.